download and install Optifine with Forge in Minecraft 1.16.5, allowing you in turn to be able to play Minecraft with Forge and Optifine as well as other mods. So you can also play Optifine with other mods. For example, if you wanted to install a minimap with Optifine, this will allow you to do that. If you wanted to install something like, you know, Iron Chest with Optifine, you could do that. Any 1.16.5 compatible mod will work with Optifine and Forge after this tutorial. I should say any 1.16. Apex Minecraft hosting. You can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running in the quickest, easiest, and best way possible. You guys got 24-hour support over there. It's truly amazing. Again, that's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, first link down below. But you're not here to get a server. You're here to get Optifine with Forge and other Minecraft mods. However, we're not going to be showing you how to get other Minecraft mods because it's it's the same process as installing Optifine. So when you install Optifine, do it the exact same way with other mods and you'll be good. But nonetheless, first things first, we need to download Optifine. And to do that, you want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide to getting Optifine without Forge. When you're here, though, all you want to do, that will take you to Optifine's download page here. And once you're on Optifine's download page, we want to make sure it says Minecraft 1.16.5 at the top. And if it does, come over to this first one here, this very first one, like first first link here and then click on the mirror button. However, if you don't have 1.16.5 here, that means it's probably an older version. So go ahead and click show all versions and you'll find it somewhere else on this list. However, for most of us, it's not going to be that way. It's going to be 1.16.5. Let's go over here. Optifine HD G6. Could be whatever. It doesn't matter if it's G6. Just first Optifine here and click on mirror. That's then going to take us off to the download page for Optifine. Or you want to go ahead and click on this purple bluish download button and Optifine will immediately start downloading in the bottom left. As you can see here, it does say Optifine 1.16.5. We will need to go ahead and click keep on that file on the bottom left. It's 100% safe to keep the file. Now you will also need, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, to save it in the center of your screen. Again, safe to do that as long as it has Optifine. Now we want to go ahead and download Forge. Now this is our in-depth Forge tutorial. We have been known to go a little too fast in videos, so we create these text tutorials, and this will help you install Forge if we go too fast in this video. However, let's go ahead, and once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button. By the way, this link is the third link in the description down below. When you click on download Forge, it's going to take you off to here where we want to make sure it says MC 1.16.5. As you can see, it does not. So to select that, we want to come over here to the left-hand side. And if it's not selected already, you want to go ahead and make sure it's you click on this 1.16 and then click on 1.16.5. Then it should say MC 1.16.5 here. And once it does, come under download latest and click on installer. That's then going to take us off to add focus. We're stop! Do not click anything on this page. What are you doing? I said don't click anything. Wait, you should better stop. 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 Don't click anything whatsoever on this page except the red skip button in the top right. There's a red skip button in the top right. That is all you want to click. Click on that red skip button in the top right, and in the bottom left, Forge will go ahead and download. As you can see, it says Forge 1.16.5. As long as it says that, you're safe to keep the file on Mozilla Firefox. Save it in the center of your screen. Again, as long as it has Forge in the title. But again, just click that red skip button in the top right. That's it. Nothing else on this page. Let's go ahead and minimize our browser. And on our desktop here, we do have Optifine. 1.16.5 and Forge 1.16.5. If these are on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here you'll find Optifine and Forge. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get started with Forge. To do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With. Click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Do it and it makes sure it's the correct version of Java for Minecraft. After you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge with Optifine. But if your files still look weird, which they might, you need to go ahead and run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the .jar files to your computer and link them up to Java once again, making them all work together all happily. So now we go ahead and minimize our browser. We can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, Client, and click OK. There you go. Simple, easy breezy beautiful. If you have any issues with this, all you will need to do is actually go play Minecraft 1.16.5 with no mods, no Optifine, no anything. Don't have anything installed. Just release 1.16.5, come back and forge will work. Now we want to go ahead and click on the OK button here, and that's going to close out of the mod system installer because it said it was successful. Now it's time to install Optifine. To do this, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now before you go smacking that play button, hold on a second. You want to make sure Forge is selected. So as you can see, Forge is selected here, and it does say 1.16.5-Forge under it. That's the case. Go ahead and click play. 
you know what you're doing. I'll, I'll explain that whole checkbox that might have come up here in one second. However, if it doesn't say Forge here, or if it does say Forge here and it's not 1.16.5, what do you do? Well, first make sure it's not there when you click on the little arrow, right? If Forge is here when you click on the little arrow and it says 1.16.5 under it, you're good. Click on it, click play. If not though, here's what you do. It's likely Forge will appear. For example, modded, when you click on it, Forge suddenly appears. As long as it says 1.16.5, you guessed it. Click on that green play button. However, if it doesn't say 1.16.5 under it, or if you've already got mods selected, it's still not there, here's what you do. Click on the plus new button, and then you wanna go ahead and enter in a name for this version, play.breakdowncraft.com is what I'm calling mine. Why? Because that's our own incredible Minecraft server. We've got medieval survival with 30 custom quests, player-based economy, grief protected. It's truly incredible and it's 1.16.5. We've got aquatic survival with a awesome size shop based economy and truly custom skyblock with custom challenges, OP enchantments, with custom challenges, incredible storylines, and so much more minions. I mean, there's so much I can even I can even list it all. Awesome rewards. It's truly incredible. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Remember, once you got your name in there, let's go ahead and click on the drop down box under version here. And here you want to find release 1.16.5-forge. Right here it is for me towards the top. Yours may be at the very, 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 very bottom. And if it is, go ahead and scroll down there and click on that. But for me, it is going to be this release 1.16.5-forge towards the top. I'm also going to change our resolution. You don't have to do that or making a video here. And I want you to be able to see once we get in game. Now, finally, let's go ahead and click on the green create button in the bottom right. And when we do that, we have this new playdartbreakdowncraft.com profile. Under that, it says 1.16.5-forge. So we can hover over it and click the green play button. You'll then get this warning that you are about to play modded Minecraft. Are you sure you want to do that? Well, yeah, that's why you're watching this tutorial after all. So go ahead and click on I understand the risk. You know what you're doing. And go ahead and click play. Now it's going to 1.16.5 with forge, but with no optifine. But guess what? The hard part is over. Literally, what you just did is the hardest part. All we have to do now is click a few buttons, install Minecraft, and restart Minecraft. It's that simple. Install Minecraft. I mean, install Optifine, then restart Minecraft. But the hard part's over. Like I said, the hard part is over. It's simple. It's easy. It's we, We're smooth sailing from this point forward. So I'll see you once we get after this loading screen and on the main menu. I am out of water. Let's go get more water. So here we are on so here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we go ahead and click on mods here. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. As you can see, we have this mods button that's appeared. Let's go ahead and click on that mods button. And then in the bottom left, we want to go ahead and click on open mods folder. Again, we want to click on the mods button, then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Now to install Optifine in 1.16.5, all we have to do is drag and drop Optifine from our desktop into our mods folder. It's that simple and that easy. Take Optifine on your desktop and drag and drop it into the mods folder, right like so. Now if we come into Minecraft, it's not here, right? It's not here, it's just in the mods folder, but it's not in Minecraft, so how do we fix that? Well, we wanna go ahead and click done here and then click quick game. Now we wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again, but don't worry, you don't have to redo all that stuff you did already. You've got your profile, you're good to go. Just select the profile that you had selected earlier, in my case, playdartbreakdowncraft.com. Again, make sure it does have 1.16.5-4 under it. Click on that and click play. Now Minecraft is gonna open up with Optifine installed. It's that simple and it's that easy. But the interesting thing about Optifine that you're about to see is that it's almost like Forge doesn't want it to be there, but it is there. And what I mean by that is once we get in game, Optifine won't be mentioned in the mods tab. Optifine won't be mentioned anywhere except in your video settings because that's the only thing in Minecraft Optifine really touches. It is the weirdest mod installation process that I have ever seen. So if we go ahead and here and click on mods, it's not here. Optifine's not there and it's never gonna be there. There's no way to get it there. However, if we come in here to options and video settings, suddenly Optifine's there in the bottom left. So as you can see, Optifine is there. You've got all the Optifine settings. Most importantly, people like shaders. There are shaders for you. You can now run shaders with your Minecraft mods. And again, 